So before installing Android Studio, you need to have Java installed on your Mac operating system. So if you want to check whether Java is installed on your Mac operating system, you can uh, just uh, uh, start the terminal. So just search for terminal and when terminal opens, you can uh, just uh, write Java hyphen hyphen version. And if it gives you uh, some kind of uh, Java version, then Java is installed on your system. If not, you might want to install Java on your Mac operating system. So uh, I will put the link of the video how to install Java on your Mac operating system if you don't know how to install Java on your Mac operating system. So once you have Java installed, you can just uh, open your favorite browser and search for uh, Android Studio. And uh, the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com. Uh, we are going to just uh, click on this link and once this uh, link opens, uh, you will be able to see this download Android Studio uh, button here. So I'm going to just uh, click on this button, which is going to show me this kind of window. So here uh, it's going to give you this kind of uh, pop-up window where you need to uh, agree with the license terms and conditions. So if you agree with all these license terms and conditions, just check this checkbox and then click on download Android Studio for Mac, which is going to start the download of this Android Studio DMG file on your Mac operating system. So I will wait for the download to complete. And once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this Android Studio DMG file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And now uh, this kind of window uh, is visible. So what you need to do, you just need to simply drag this icon to your applications folder. So I'm going to just select this uh, Android Studio icon and then drag this icon to my applications folder. So it's going to copy this Android Studio or inside your applications folder. And once it is done, you can just go to the launchpad. So just click on launchpad icon and you will be able to see uh, this Android Studio icon. So now I'm going to just uh, click on this Android Studio icon, which is going to start the installation of Android Studio on your Mac operating system. So first of all, you will be able to see this window which says uh, this app downloaded from the internet and are you sure you want to open it? So I'm going to just click on open and now you will be able to see this kind of window. So uh, it says config or installation folder and it also says do not import settings. So because I don't have any uh, previous installation of Android Studio, so I will leave everything as default and then click on OK, which is going to start the Android Studio on your Mac operating system. So the first uh, window you will see here will be uh, this kind of window, which will uh, tell you to uh, share your data. If you want to share your data, you can uh, click send usage statistics to Google. I will just click on don't send. And now I can uh, see this kind of window. So here on this welcome window, I just need to click on the, the next button. And uh, on the next window, the installation type, I will leave it as standard. If you are uh, advanced uh, Android Studio user, you can also select custom uh, option here. For now, I'm going to leave it as standard and then click on next. And now you can choose the UI theme. I'm going to choose the dark yellow theme. You can also choose the light theme. And then I'm going to click on next. And here you will be able to see uh, the settings. So if you want to review or change any of your installation setting, click previous. So here all these tools will be installed. I'm going to just click on finish. And this is going to start the installation of all these uh, components. So just wait for uh, the download to complete. You can also see uh, the details of this process when you click on show details button. So now the installation of Android Studio is finished. So you will uh, see this kind of window, which is the welcome uh, window for the Android Studio. So we can uh, create a new project from here. So let's create uh, a new project. I'm going to just click on new project here. And then we are going to create an empty activity uh, project. So just uh, select empty activity here and then click on next. 
and uh, you can provide the name to your application for now I'm going to leave it as default you can also choose your language Kotlin or Java I'm going to choose Java for now and then you can uh, also choose the minimum SDK so I will leave it as default which is API 16 which will cover approximately 99.8% uh, of devices you can also choose different API version from here so once you are done with the setting you can click on finish which is going to create your Android studio project so you can see uh, this project is loading so just wait for uh, some time until the project loads and uh, on the right hand side you will see uh, what's new you can minimize this window so at this point when uh, your uh, project is uh, loading you will see uh, this process which is uh, the gradle process so it's downloading some gradle related uh, uh, libraries so you just need to wait for some time until those libraries are uh, uh, done downloading and you will see this process uh, bar here so just wait for this process bar to reach to the 100% mark so now the process of gradle uh, package download is completed and you will be able to see on the left side this project view and on the right side uh, this kind of uh, code view for your main activity also when you click on activity underscore main dot xml file you uh, will be able to see the ui view of your app so by default it has this one text view uh, and there is hello world written inside that text view now here you can uh, split this ui view in three modes so you have you have this design mode by default selected you can also see the code behind this uh, ui and also you can uh, click on the split view where you will be able to see the ui component and the code behind it which is the xml file okay so you can choose if you want to see the code view split view or the design view from here also you will see the terminal option here so you can click on the terminal option and you will be able to see the terminal here you can also see the build uh, process which is the next option here so when i click on build process uh, you can see build successful in 4 minute 26 second that means uh, the build was successful so now let's try to run this app so I'm going to just click on uh, this run app button and let's see what happens so when you click on run app button it's going to run your app in your emulator which is downloaded at the time of the installation of your Android Studio so this emulator will come with the download of Android Studio on your Mac operating system also you can see this message which says Android Studio would like to access the microphone uh, an application in Android Studio request access to device microphone so if you want to allow this you can also allow uh, this microphone or if you don't want to allow this you can uh, just select uh, don't allow so for now I'm going to just uh, select don't allow for now and you can also see here at the bottom it says waiting for all target devices to come online so it's waiting for uh, this uh, emulator device to come online and once this device uh, comes online you can see this pixel phone is starting so now I can see uh, this app which is running on my Android emulator right so I can see this hello world uh, in the message here so now let's just say that I want to change this uh, hello world message from here so I can just select this text uh, edit from here or text view from here and then I can uh, just write hello uh, from Android studio and then I'm going to rebuild uh, my project by just clicking this uh, hammer button and once it's done I can uh, just uh, relaunch uh, my uh, uh, app so I can just uh, click on this button once again which is going to run my app once again and it's going to relaunch my app in the emulator and now I can see this message which says hello from Android Studio so everything is working that means uh, we have successfully installed Android Studio on our Mac operating system 
and tested it with a sample project. So this is how you can download and install Android Studio on your Mac operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.